Hi, my name is Mike Snyder. I'm chair of the genetics department at Stanford University. And I am Trey Pim Pan. I am a research scientist working for Phil Sao and Mike. We are here to tell you about the genomics of abdominal aortic aneurysm. Abdominal aortic aneurysm, or AAA for short, is a common disease that affects 10% of the people who are 65 years or older. It is the 10th leading cause of death in Western countries. It is hallmarked by irreversible enlargement of a segment of the aorta. It is asymptomatic until it ruptures, which usually causes death. So it's kind of like a ticking time bomb. Because the disease is irreversible, it is important to predict people who are at high risk for AAA and detect the disease early. The disease has a strong genetic component, but so far, very few genes that are involved have been identified using traditional approaches. We use a genome sequencing and machine learning approach to find genes involved in AAA and get at the underlying genetic cause of this disease. We sequence the genomes of 268 cases along with 133 controls and then let computer algorithms and machine learning find which genes are overly mutated in cases relative to the controls. This method found 60 genes that appear to be involved in this disease. When we examined these genes and interacting partners in more detail, we found that they are dysregulated in people who have AAA. We also found that they are dysregulated in mouse models of the disease, suggesting that they really do play a role in AAA. Some of the genes and their interacting partners function in blood vessel development, blood circulation, and aneurysm, so they are really just the sort of genes that you might expect to be involved in this disease. This work has important implications for precision health and precision medicine. We can set up a model to predict who is at high risk for the disease right from a person's genome sequence. So in principle, we can detect people who are at risk right from the moment they are born. We can improve the model further by adding lifestyle and electronic health record information to make it even more accurate. In fact, the model is as accurate and even more so than many of the clinical tests in use today. Why is this a big deal? We think it is important because the information is actionable. People at high risk for AAA can do things to lower their risk, such as increasing their HDL. This is something they really should do if they fall into this high risk category. Moreover, with the rise in genome sequencing, we think that this approach we developed can be applied to many other complex diseases, such as other cardiovascular diseases, autism, preterm birth, and other illness, to identify the genes responsible for those diseases as well. So that's our story. Joining us in this work is Jing Jing Li, Sai Zhang, who co-led the study, and Phil Sao and I are the co-senior authors. We invite you to read the paper published in Cell.